Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yep. level from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Nottingham United Kingdom, Iceman. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my fight. situations normally the guy that's going all around it will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Just unable to quite find that range. Hands high, hands high. Well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice, nice. Look at him whip his hip into that kiss. Straight right is there. Let's get some Let's get there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Leg kick checked effectively there by Lee. from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Second round here. Not there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Head kick. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. What a body kick. Goes to the body there. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Lee. Just out of range with that right hook. Lee gets caught with that push. Circling towards the left now. Cable inches right there, boy. It was a good night if that landed. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Punch is blocked. Three minutes now to go in round two. volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice straight punch. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. One, two there. Right hand on point. Big kick land. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. 
That one snuck in. Nice strike. Big leg kick lands. seconds to go round two. Oh man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. 10 minutes in the books. All right, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat, who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. Deep breath. Relax. Get to the water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Try to establish that jab. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big punch lands through the middle. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands, was hurt. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Out of range with that one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Campbell inches right down, boy. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Yes, catches the kick and counters with the takedown. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Back to the feet now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Fifteen seconds. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attacked the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, 
But as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Big head kick land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big punch lands. Great kicks there. Counters with a straight hand here, and it lands. Nice job by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Big power shot there. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Good jab. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Under two minutes to go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, what a punch. Went for the inside leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice, sneaky head kick. Just a slip there. Beautiful punch. Deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. 15 seconds remain in the round. He's throwing every part of himself. And what a round! So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Checks the leg kick. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh! Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Good strike there by Lee. Under three minutes remain in round five. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Okay. Attempts the front kick there.
came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice leg kick lands. Great punch. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. We'll get oh, him. he might be out. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than you ever could have imagined.